Amendment, uh, the right to bear arms is important to a lot of Americans. Why do you think that is? Well, the founders were very clear about it, and uh, the assumption went without saying that everybody can have a gun to go out hunting because everybody was a hunter. Uh, but they wanted to be explicit that uh, individuals owned guns because they never wanted to dis, uh, have the uh, populace disarm. Matter of fact, they encouraged and they believed that each, each community and each state would have a militia, which was just a group of people who could be called up in an emergency to be deputized for protection. But the gun really was, uh, uh, that Second Amendment was provided, uh, ironically, and a lot of people don't understand this, but it was to protect, uh, protect against abuse of government because okay. they, they needed guns to protect against the abuse of the king. Uh, so uh, they, see, they saw the first, Second Amendment as very, very important. Of course, I see it as so important because I think it was the lack of respect for the Second Amendment that contributed a whole lot to the disaster of 9-11. Because uh, if individuals are responsible to defend themselves or their property, uh, my guess is that if the government hadn't taken over security on the airlines, Maybe the airlines would have said that a pilot could have kept a pistol up front uh -huh. and uh, don't let anybody mess around. But unfortunately, before 9-11, they weren't allowed to have guns. They're still really not allowed. Uh, at, at the same time, the government told us not to resist. Right. So we, they did exactly the opposite. No wonder well, this was an opening for people who wanted to do us harm. But the Second Amendment is, is crucial. And uh, if you think about it, uh, you know, the lack of respect for the Second Amendment is in the areas of our country that needs the Second Amendment the most. Mm -hmm. And this is, to me, uh, so discriminatory, and that's in our inner cities. Mm -hmm. you, go, you go to the inner cities where there's the most crime, and yet if you're a law-abiding citizen, you're not allowed to defend against the crime. Right. So you're not allowed to have a gun in the inner city. So this, to me, is discriminatory. And, of course, uh, there's a lot of laws against guns and drugs, and yet you have more violence in so many inner cities. So I think a respect for the Second Amendment would go a long way to help and uh, cut down on the violence and the, and the killing of innocent people in many of our inner cities throughout the country. Okay.